When opportunity knocks, answer the door. Hey, it's Jay, and welcome to another episode. This week, I'm going to talk to you about an exciting opportunity that has come up for me and an additional direction that I can go in with this brand, this channel as it were, of Jay's Jabberings. Um, with a few little side notes. So, I was lucky enough to meet the editor of an online magazine um, at a Misfits Unite meetup. Misfits Unite connected, of course, if you don't know, to Trent and Luke, um, the uh, YouTubers, and their or and their mum, uh, Mum Shayla, and it's a support group on Facebook that I have joined. Um, I have asked for support and I have given advice as well. It's a really supportive group. It's more like a family, really. Now, as part of a one-year anniversary, there was a meet-up at um, Stratford at the Olympic Park, which I attended, and it was there that I met this um, person who is an editor of an online magazine. She's also a misfit, and she gave me her business card. We talked a little bit about it, and I thought nothing of it. That was quite a while ago. A few months later, I saw uh, a post about um, the meetup and things like that, and it reminded me about the website. So I went and had a look. I've joined the website because it's more of a community, really, and I wrote an article for them, sent it off as a guest post. The website itself is called Divine Magazine. I'm going to put links to the website and their Twitter and all of that in the bottom bar, in the description bar below. So I sent off an article um, and it got published. This was at the beginning of this month. So about two weeks ago it got published and it's had more hits, as it were, more people looking at it than I've had on the last five or six videos on here. But uh, there you go. Uh, so spurred on by this I wrote a second article and sent it off to them, again just as a guest post. and. I got her an email back asking if I would like to have a regular column on the website. This was the Opportunity Knox moment. Now, I have written things for years. I've always been a bit of a writer. I've written plays that have been performed. I've written sitcoms for competitions, poems, songs, stories for children, stories for adults. I'm working on a novel. You know, I can consistently write things my well, ideas in my head I write them down so this opportunity it, it was you know it doesn't come often as a writer and I applied what I call the rule of three so if you get an opportunity you know you answer the door you look at the options and I'll say if you can think of three reasons one two three straight away why you shouldn't do something then don't do it and that's what I applied in this in this situation. I thought about it. I said, right, what? Why shouldn't I do it? And I could only come up with one reason as to n why I shouldn't do this, and that's the fact of my name being used and it being out there. Um, so I did it. I sent an email back saying I would love to take this opportunity. It's an honour to be asked, really. Um, and my page, my column on this website is now live. It is also called Jay's Jabberings. So it means that I can get what I talk about out to more people. Now you uh, subscribers that I've got that you know watch these videos, thank you and don't worry I'm going to continue to make videos but it gives me a chance to talk or in, in essence write, type more about what I want that could, you know, otherwise my, if I do that in my videos they would be really long. I mean I know my videos are long at times anyway, but this makes it so that my videos can be shorter, snappy, get to the points of what I want to make, and I can put more into the writing. It's another direction. It's a direction that I never thought I would go in from making YouTube videos. I mean the only reason I knew about the Misfits group is because of Trent and Luke on YouTube. The only reason I went to this meetup was because of YouTube. The only reason that I've got this column, this regular column on this online magazine is because of YouTube. YouTube 
has provided that opportunity and I have taken it and I'm going to run with it and I'm excited I've already written most of my, the next article that I'm going to um, send in for consideration my latest article was only published yesterday and it's already got a fair few hits on it and it's, it's just exciting it's an exciting time for me as a new direction as it were for my creative outlets and it's all because opportunity knocked and I answered the door it's what you should do too think about that rule of three then three reasons why you shouldn't do something instantly without thought that 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 if you come up with three straight away don't do it if you don't come up with three straight away then why not go for it they say opportunity comes around once in a lifetime I don't know about that but I love the phrase when opportunity knocks answer the door so I'm going to talk about this week thanks for watching like share subscribe and go and check out my column and I'll see you next time Thank you.